welcome back to my channel. I am just getting ready for the day. I thought today I'd start off a weekend vlog. It's Easter this weekend and I haven't filmed like all week. To be honest, I've just been so wiped and exhausted and I've been working on getting a couple other videos edited that I had filmed last week ahead of time because I am 37 weeks and three days pregnant. Ooh. So the last couple weeks I was filming a lot of videos trying to get a little bit ahead so I still had content for you guys as I get closer to my due date. Everything's been going really well. My appointment last week for 37 weeks was great. Baby girl is on track, doing really well. So at this time we're just kind of hoping in the next two weeks I go into labor naturally on my own. Otherwise my care team is talking about induction by 39 weeks so we'll see how that goes. So I'm starting a weekend vlog. Let's hope I make it through and don't go into labor before this vlog is over. Millie girl's been keeping me company while I get ready. In all honesty, I feel really good. I don't think that labor is like impending in the next couple days, but I mean, you hear those stories all the time, right? You feel like fine one minute and then the next minute you're popping a baby out. So I've been doing small things like bouncing on my yoga ball, doing some good stretches, gentle walking. I've been eating my six dates a day for the last couple weeks. So I've been doing stuff to get myself prepared. My parents are here this week, which has totally relaxed me because I'm not worried that I'm gonna go into labor and Josh and I are gonna need to get to the hospital and we don't have someone to watch our older daughter, Lila. All of our family lives out of state. So my parents are here staying with us the next couple weeks as we get to baby time. So they've been a huge help. They've been cooking dinner and cleaning up the kitchen, looking after Lila. I feel like I've been on vacation. So I'm so thankful that they're here. Um, this afternoon, my mom and I are going to run out and get our nails done. Not sure what all of our plans are for the weekend yet and then obviously Sunday is Easter. So at this point in my pregnancy like I could go into labor today but I'm kind of hoping to be able to push through the holiday, spend it with my family and then next week we're gonna start focusing on getting this baby out so I don't have to get induced. Here is my lovely outfit of the day. You guys are probably so sick of seeing me wear the same things in every few vlogs, but to be honest, I'm at the tail end of pregnancy. I don't have many things that fit. I actually got away without buying a lot of new stuff this pregnancy because I had some old clothes from before I lost weight on my weight loss journey when I lost 80 pounds on WW. I hadn't gotten rid of all of my bigger clothes yet, so I've been able to wear some things that had just been in my closet and too big for me to wear prior to getting pregnant. So, um, this jacket I actually I think the only thing maternity I'm actually wearing right now are my leggings this is just an older tank top still fits the bump and then this jacket I actually just picked up this fall yeah, obviously it doesn't doesn't close but you know what it's just a layer piece because it's a little chilly this morning it's supposed to be mid 70s and sunny this afternoon maybe we'll get Lila out to the park we'll see but yeah anyway sorry ignore laundry everywhere we're just trying to we're trying to keep up but yeah that's my lovely outfit for the day. I promise I'm not gonna wear my slippers to get my nails done. I'll change into some flip-flops when we go downstairs, but anyway, let's get on with our day. Come on, baby girl, let's go get her nails done. Sorry, I got distracted talking with my mom and didn't show you guys our mani petties in the salon, but I got just like a nude on my fingers and a hot pink on my toes. Seemed springy for Easter. I normally get like a dip powder manicure because they last really long, but I actually just got a regular manicure just with regular nail polish for like the first time in probably years um, because I was worried if I got my nails done and then had a baby and I wouldn't be able to get it off well myself. I've never been successful. I always feel like I ruin my nails when I try and get the dip powder off myself. So anyway, we came home afterwards instead of shopping around a lot we brought Lila over to the park and she's okay she's been practicing riding her bike over at our basketball court because where we live is kind of on a hill so when we're learning we need some flat ground <laughs> Lila is <laughs> biking laps around the basketball courts and I decided I'm gonna get a nice walk in. It's nice here because it's so flat and even. I can get some good steps in without getting too tired and overwhelmed. Gotta keep walking. Eventually we get to the point we're gonna walk this baby out. Definitely glad to have my mom and dad here though. They can keep up with Lila. Well, we got back from the park. Quick little outfit change and now we are heading to church for Good Friday service. We got home from church and my mom threw together a delicious dinner. We used the Mediterranean crunch salad that I pick up at Costco, the Taylor Farms one. And then we picked up this beautiful piece of salmon. The salmon came out perfect, even cooking it as just this one really large piece. We baked it in the oven. 
Well, they're all having drinkies. It's all about the glass anyway, guys. So, wine glass for my cranberry juice it is. Look at that salmon. Gigi has been my personal chef all week. Treating me so good. Treating me so good. You guys, I have not cooked a dinner all week. And thanks to my dad, I haven't done dishes either. The pregnant spoiled life. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> they come drinking whiskey. <laughs> it's wine. She just found one of Josh's whiskey glasses and likes it. It's okay, mom. You drink out of as much at one time in these glasses. Portion <laughs> control. Making a little breakfast this morning. This has been one of my go-to pregnancy breakfasts recently because I've been trying to get like six to eight dates in a day as recommended by like my midwife OB team as some labor prep. I've been using this organic rolled oats and ancient grains and seeds mix from Trader Joe's, making up some oatmeal. And then I mix in some peanut butter as well as some chopped up dates and just a drizzle of maple syrup to add some sweetness. And it is so good and very, very filling. It keeps me full so long, which is impressive at this point in pregnancy. I feel like I'm always hungry. Um, I haven't done a whole lot today. I shared with you guys what I made for breakfast, but a little while ago I came up to shower and get ready. Josh and I are going on kind of like a last hurrah date night. My parents are watching Lila, so we're gonna go out one more time. Also, I'm not naked, I have a tank top on. I just got out of the shower. Distraction, but anyway. We're gonna go on a date tonight. We're gonna go see a movie. I honestly couldn't tell you the last movie Josh and I went to alone, just the two of us. We took Lila to see her first movie. Sometime early last fall, it was a kid's movie that had come out and we haven't been back to a movie theater since. But I came upstairs just to like shower and kind of get ready for the day. And I just got so hot and dizzy. After just taking a shower, I had to lay down for like 30 minutes and I feel so guilty about it. Mom guilt is no joke. I know my parents are both here and Josh is here. Everyone is here. They're with Lila downstairs. My mom is getting some stuff prepped for Easter. My dad has been doing like laundry for the family and they're all helping out with Lila. And I still feel guilty just taking time to myself in my bedroom and laying down because I don't feel good and I'm exhausted after doing simple things like showering myself. This is very strange to me. I never got to this point with Lila because we didn't have any other kids and I was induced at 37 weeks. I was never this far along in pregnancy and it's just getting to the point where I'm really realizing like, whew, I'm exhausted. I need to take some rest and I need to accept help. And that's really hard. So anyway, I am finally feeling better after taking a little rest. I'm going to try and get my hair blow dried so that way it's prepped for tomorrow morning when we go to church for Easter already. And then Josh and I have our date tonight. <sighs> Thank goodness for the Revlon Styler. If you guys don't know about this yet, I will link it in the description box below, but it prevents you from having to use like both your hands to blow out your hair, one for a big round brush, one for a blow dryer. You're able just to like kind of scoop up your hair and blow it out and like kind of give it volume at the same time. Cause I don't know that I would have had the energy to do a blowout on myself. Still haven't done any makeup. We'll see if I get to that later. It's still in the afternoon and we're not going to the movie till this evening, so. But I got my hair dried and I'm not about to pass out, so that's a win. Happy bunny ears. Very cool.
put it in the, yep, yeah, we gotta put it in the holder. Daddy, why don't you scoot the pink closer? I'm not gonna use them yet. And then you gotta rest it in the dye. We're just gonna let it and drop it in. And then leave it in there. It's gonna get painted. Hey guys, so Josh and I are about to go head out on our date night, but look what arrived. I wanted to share with you guys real quick this beautiful arrangement I just got from Rose Forever. They're a company based out of New York and they specialize in long-lasting rose arrangements. They're made of 100% natural, fresh flowers, and they're preserved in oils and handcrafted by professional rose artisans. They have a ton of different designs you can choose from. Their boxes come in square, heart-shaped, or round, with a bunch of different colors. So here's the style I picked up. It's a set of nine white roses in a black velvet square box. These are real roses, guys. They feel real. They have a lovely light rose scent to them. But the best thing about them is how low maintenance they are. You don't have to water them, trim them, transfer them to a vase. They come ready to go. You guys know I love fresh flowers in the house. But right now with baby girl on the way, something that's low maintenance but still able to have something fresh in the house is so nice. These would make such a great gift for an expectant mom in your life or for Mother's Day coming up. Rose Forever has kindly offered us a discount code. Use the code Lauren to get $20 off your first order. Their products are vegan and allergen free and they ship worldwide. Wide. I think they make such a sweet little addition to our little girl's nursery corner. You guys can check out my description below for the discount code and a link to their site. On our way for date night at the movies. And I know I normally drive, we're in my car guys, but um, I don't fit behind the steering wheel very well right now. No shame in this Prego Mama's game. You ready? Uh-huh. Guys, I seriously, do, you, do we know the last time we went no, to a movie alone? I can't think of the last time. We have no idea what movie it was we saw last time alone. Movie night! Yeah. Happy Easter! Come on, Easter Bunny girl! Time to go! All right, come on. <laughs> Let's go find if the Easter Bunny came to our house during church. The chef was at it again. We have our lamb and potatoes, classic mint jelly from my dad, some glazed air fryer carrots I showed you guys. And of course, the one thing I will always ask my mom to make, Midwestern girl at heart, my strawberry pretzel jello. Well, no baby J yet. Leave your birthday guess in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye. I always do. I never think I always do